Hey craft lovers, my name is Raina. I work for the Western Sullivan Public Library and this is my third crafting video. Usually I host a crafting group once a month at the library. So these videos are so that we can continue crafting from home. So today we're going to be making um, shower caps and um, food covers using plastic bags. You're going to need plastic bags. Um, today I'm just gonna show you with two. You're going to need plastic bags, scissors, a clothes iron, um, elastic thread or a thick thread, a needle, parchment paper, and um, something to set down on the table so that um, uh, the table doesn't get um, ruined by using the um, iron. So first you're going to want to wash all the plastic bags that you have. Um, I, so this is the food cover that I made. I only had to use one plastic bag for that, but if you're going to be making it for a bigger dish, you might want two to four um, plastic bags to use. Uh, and I used four plastic bags for my um, shower cap. All right, so let's get started. First, you're going to want to take your plastic bag. You're going to want to lay it out flat in front of you. And then you're going to want to fold it in half. Fold it again. And then we're going to cut the bottom and the top off. So then when you open it up, it'll look like this. Mine's a little bit cryptic, but that's fine. Right. Okay, so first you get your um your station ready. So I'm getting my cardboard out. I need some parchment paper. And I'm going to lay out enough parchment paper to cover the underneath of the uh, plastic bag that I'm going to use. And then the same thing for the top. I want to cover the whole thing. And then we're going to take our iron. Start ironing it out. And you're going to want your iron to be set at, um, I set mine at medium heat. So that way, when you're done, it's going to look like this. Okay, I'm going to do the same for the other plastic bag. Same thing with the last plastic bag. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so now, once both of those are done, we're going to connect them by overlapping them just a little bit. Take our other piece that we did before and just overlap. And do the same thing. We only really need to cover that part that's overlapped. I'm going to connect those. And since it's going to be double the thickness, we're going to want to go over it a few more times with the iron so that we really get to get to stick together. Let's see how that turned out. Okay, looks like I need to go over that again. You can also, what I did, <clears throat> I put mine over and I'll do the back, which can help melt the plastic together a little bit better.
perfect. All right. So then it looks like that. Now we're going to go ahead and make a circle. Cut the edges, and it doesn't need to be a perfect circle. All right, and you're gonna see like this didn't um, get melted together, but that's okay because we're going to um, we're going to sew along all of this, and um, it will all come together, and it won't be an issue later. Okay. So this is what mine looks like. A little bit more circular. Okay. So now grab your thread and needle. Um, I'm going to be using my plastic bag thread that I made last week. Okay, once you've got your needle and thread ready, you can start to sew. So this is what the way that I am um, sewing mine. I usually don't sew very much. Um, so what I'm doing is I have the colored pattern on the bottom and I'm just putting my needle out and then using the needle's length and then go back through the other side and then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to keep doing that. And it'll have this accordion kind of look to it. So you're going to continue to do that throughout the whole edge of this. And when it starts to get a little bit too bunched up, you can go through, go and um, start to put your thread through and then start up again. Once you're done doing that, it's going to look like this. And we can just Slowly open it up. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull on the end that we started at so we can get some extra string. Do it very lightly. You don't want to break the string. Okay, now we can go ahead and cut the um, needle from our string. And then you're going to want to tie the end here. Or, see my end is actually really long, I'm going to cut it to about the same length as my other one. And then we're going to make a knot because we don't want, <clears throat> if we stretch this bag all the way out, we don't want our uh, thread to go through it again. So you can use this. As, hold on. I already have my example for my cover. You can use this as a cover. And you could just um, tighten it. And then you shouldn't have to tie it. You don't want to because if you tie it too tightly, and then you end up not being able to get it open, then you have to cut your string and then you're really hard, but you shouldn't have to. It stays pretty well. Um, and it's just to cover your food for now. And then you can also use it as a shower cap. If you're going, you don't want to use the same one as a shower cap, obviously. But um, if you are going to do a shower cap, you want to measure it to your size that you want. And when you get the right measurement, hold it there. And then you're going to want to tie where you have it there. Leave a little bit of extra room because you're going to stretch it a little bit over your hair. So you just tie it where you want it and then you have your shower cap. All right, so that's it. Thank you guys for watching and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.